أعوذ بالله من العلي من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى has allowed us to be able to make it to this Ramadan and has allowed us the the luxury of inshallah ta'ala being able to reach the last 10 nights of Ramadan now we all know the significance of the last 10 nights of Ramadan as uh, one of the or the best night the best night the best the night with the most favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in these last 10 nights one of these nights is better than 1,000 months. So the Prophet said, Do you, Did you not see if a person was to fight for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fast every day, and to pray every night, all night, for 1,000 months? Stand, staying up this one night, staying up this one night is more significant than that. This night, Laylat al-Qadr, is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the Ummah of Muhammad the benefits of. Four nights out of 360 days out of the year, give or take a few, Four nights, if we are to stay up one of these four nights, the 21st night, the 23rd night, the 25th night, and the 27th night, we are guaranteed to reach later. Four nights. This month is the month of worship. It's the month of the Quran. It's the month of, uh, it's the month of, uh, uh, of 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 generosity. It's the month of charity. It's the month of qiyam. It's the month of sleeplessness. It's the month. But these four nights, these four nights, if we don't achieve them, then we've missed many of the benefits of Ramadan. If we can compare four nights to the 360 nights that we sleep, there is almost no comparison. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a grand opportunity, an opportunity of a lifetime in a short four nights. If you can imagine, the average salary of a person is approximately $50,000, $50,000, $60,000. If you were to work four nights and to be guaranteed in those four nights a salary of $60,000 for 83 years in one night in one of those four nights which one of us would stay up all night? This is better than a Mercedes Benz this is, an, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. 1,000 months is equivalent to approximately 83.3 years. So staying up these four nights is equivalent to, inshallah ta'ala, achieving 83.3 years. What does staying up the late for, uh, uh, during the late al Qadr mean? What does, it, what does it encompass? Does it mean staying up and making salah from Maghrib to Fajr? Well, first of all, when does Laylatul Qadr start? Laylatul Qadr starts at Maghrib. 
and it ends at Fajr. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطُ الْأَسْوَيْ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ Until the difference between the, the black thread and the, and the white thread of Fajr, meaning that when you see that, that little glimpse of daylight, then Layla al-Qadr is over. It starts at Maghrib time and it ends at Fajr. What are some of the things that we can do in order to achieve Laylatul Qadr? Staying up and praying. A few rak'ahs here and there. Two rak'ahs, four rak'ahs. If you were Uthman bin Affan, you would do one rak'ah all night for my shat al Fajr. Some of the Sahaba would read Quran. Some of the Sahaba would. Uh, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Most importantly, stay up. When it comes to praying, you can pray slow like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to. Where he would pray, so, when he would, where he would recite the, soul, the Quran so slow that the Sahaba said that it's as if you can memorize the Quran while he was reciting it. Or you can recite it like Uthman bin Affan radiallahu anhu where you're reciting the verses but you're going at a pace that is not audibly understand, uh, audibly um, something that you would use in a speech but yet it is understandable. And Uthman bin Affan radiallahu anhu used to read the Quran much faster than the Prophet and there are different ways, and when it comes to the Qur'an, let's say you would just want to recite the Qur'an for most of the night, or all of the night. There are different ways to recite the Qur'an. You can recite the Qur'an with your eyes. You know, give your eyes some of that ibadah by reading it. Sit down in the gathering of the Qur'an and give your ears some of that ibadah by listening to it. You can sit down and ponder over the verses. You can go through the tafsir. Like for example, you just wanted to know the, the meaning of the words. You can use, for example, tafsir al-jalali. You wanted to understand the hadith aspect behind and the linguistic, perhaps, aspect of the, of the word. You can use Ibn Kathir and delve into it even more. And this is part of understanding and reciting the Quran. Tadabbur, uh, understanding. Or you can use, for example, Bahar Muhayt, where it goes through the Balagha uh, of the Quran, and so on and so forth. You can, different aspects of the Quran. So you can do a khatmah, you can finish the Quran like this. Then you can finish the Quran like that. Then you can go back and finish the Quran like this. And then you can go back and finish the Quran like that. And then you can go back and finish the Quran like this. And then you can go back and finish the Quran practicing it. And then you can go try to practice the different verses that you memorized or that you uh, or recited. Then you can go back and try to uh, um, uh, teach the verses that you recited. Then you, all of these are different ways to finish a khatma, finish the Quran. Or we can stay up throughout the night making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or we can stay up throughout the night doing what is called tadakur, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together, meaning having lectures, understanding the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having discussions about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of these things, staying up, doing all of these things are part of staying up for the Laylatul Qadr. Now, the Prophet وسلم, one night had a dream about the actual night of, of power, the night of Qadr. He woke up, he saw two Muslims arguing, and that luxury, that ni'mah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took away from us. Just like he took away the ni'mah from Banu Israel, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in Allah and Allah has commanded you to slaughter a cow. They could have slaughtered any cow. 
What are they go? What are they going to do? What kind of cow? How big? How fat? How old? How 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 pretty? How ugly? How this? How that? How the other? Until Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made it so specific that they had to pay the entire uh, cow's weight in gold. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala raised that nama from us when he saw, when the Prophet saw, saw, saw two Muslims arguing. We don't know when. We don't know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes certain mercies away from us. But definitely we lose certain mercies when we get in, when we get into arguments and we quarrel. One of those mercies were was taken away when the Prophet never saw two Muslims arguing. So then he said, look for it in the odd nights of the last ten nights of Ramadan. The Prophet will make up to kaf during these last two months. Now, there is a, a slight difference of opinion, but the uh, more, more strongest opinion, Allah, and Allah SWT knows best, is there's a slight difference of opinion as whether the Atikaf is just in the Masjid al-Haram or is it out, outside of Masjid al-Haram. But Allah SWT says, وَلَا تَقْرَبُونَ وَأَنْتُمْ عَاكِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ um, oh, And don't Come close to your wives when you are making a tikaf in the masjids and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left it open. And so this is evidence to where a tikaf is done in any masjid, any place of worship. Be in that time. A tikaf is important for those who are able to do it because it gives you that special close time, that special connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you cannot get at any other time unless you have devoted specific time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear brothers and sisters, four nights is not much to sacrifice. I advise myself first and then you to do what we can to stay up those four nights because it only comes around, the actual night only comes around one night out of the year. The opportunity only comes around four times out of the year. And not a single one of us can afford to lose it. Let's say we are getting into Jannah. And we have Yaqeen that we're getting into Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also has written that we're going into Jannah. We are still going to want to be higher in the Jannah. The Prophet said, when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Jannah, don't just ask him to get into Jannah. Don't just shoot for the, uh, the, the moon. Don't just shoot for the star, uh, the, the sky. Shoot for shoot beyond the stars. Because then you can reach the stars. He said, Don't just ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get into Jannah, but ask him for the Firdaus al Ala. Ask him for the grand prize. Shoot for the first place you might come in fifth. But shoot for just any place, then most likely you might not even get there. Aqul qul yada wa subhanaka wa humu rahamnik ashawa la ilaha illa ant asafiru kawantu wilik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.